So, you wish to kill Knacker, a skill-based boss in Balanced Craft Wars? Well, you've come to the right place. But before I start, let me remind any subhuman cheeseballs whose only accomplishments are finding rare gear in a game that won't ever positively affect your life that clicked on his video in hopes of winning right away. This is a strategy, not a cheese. Even if you take all my advice and instructions, you will still need to adapt to Knacker and practice for a long time before you can actually pull this off, unless you already have experience in that. Now, on to the video. First off, the triple fret. The triple fret is probably the most basic attack to recognize and master. First, Knacker will perform two regular slashes towards you, which are unparryable. The third slash, however, has predictive aim and is parryable. The strategy that works best for me on this attack is run enough distance away for the first two slashes to not hit you. Then stand still and hold M1 to parry the third attack. Be sure not to stand too close to him after the second slash, because you will be in his range for the third slash and not be able to parry it. Next attack, the Reality Tear. This attack has a long windup and is also parryable. You know when he's using this attack with the unique noise it makes, just like the triple fret. The best thing to do here is use the Empyrean Ring, or just walk towards him and parry it while he's charging it up if you're in a reasonable distance. However, if your gut tells you that you are too far away to make it to him in time, then it's best to go to a corner of the map that he's not near, it is a safe spot from the attack. If you're in a situation where I'm in right now, where you take damage from an attack and Knacker follows it up with a parryable attack, do not attempt to parry it. If you don't already know, whenever you're hit, Knacker applies anti-parry, which prevents you from parrying, healing, or having iframes. Dodge the next attack instead. Also, Knacker's meteors in the first phase are not a big deal. Just walk in any direction besides towards him to not be hit by them. This next attack is a ground slam. Knacker will first try dashing towards you, but he will usually miss and fly across the arena. When he does this, jump immediately. He follows up this dash with a ground slam that is completely unavoidable unless you're mid-air. Occasionally, he will land a dash, and even though it's parryable, it's almost impossible to parry, and there isn't much you can do about it when he hits you. As for the ground slam, try not to have low velocity by turning towards or away from Knacker, or rather side to side. If you're slow, then his ground slam will still hit you mid-air. This attack is a simple teleport and slash, you can avoid it by simply turning the other direction. Another thing I find useful on Knacker is using the Empyrean Ring while walking backwards. Use the Empyrean Ring when you feel the timing is right, and he will predict your movement based on how fast you're moving with the ring, rather than your normal speed. Because of this, he will teleport very far behind you and you'll have lots of breathing space. Not only that, Empyrean Ring also has very good maneuverability. You can turn whenever you need to dodge an attack or turn back to parry his reality tear. The only attack I don't recommend using the Empyrean Ring on are the Meteors. This attack is the Lunge. Knacker will first perform an unparryable diagonal slash, then follow it up with a dash swing. Although the dash swing is parryable, from my experience, it's very wonky in phase 1 and, and is hard to parry. It's best to dodge this attack rather than try to parry it, unless you're somehow good enough to parry it often. Be careful on this attack. Knacker tends to teleport on you rather than near you with this attack.
like I explained earlier, don't try to parry an attack if he hit you with one recently, because the anti-parry will screw you over. I got extremely lucky with this last second parry, but be sure not to get too confident during the fight. Stay calm and collected, and wait for him to attack you. Now we're on phase 2, where the fight gets even harder. Thankfully, most attacks are still just about the same as the phase 1 attacks. Triple Threat, as shown here, is the exact same but with longer range. The phase 2 meteors are probably one of his most lethal attacks. They now have predictive aim, and they can absolutely destroy you and shatter your dreams of beating Macker if you're hit by them mid-air. However, in any other case, they are very easy to dodge once you learn. The best way to dodge them is to run in small circles like I'm doing here, because it will mess up their predictive aim very badly. Do not use Empyrean Ring during this attack. Another thing to mention, if Knacker ever uses his Reality Tear on the border of the arena past the Moat of Lava, I don't recommend you use the Empyrean Ring to get to him unless you absolutely need to. The Empyrean Ring is known for flinging you if you hit anything other than a smooth surface, and that includes the small difference in elevation of the edge of the arena. It will occasionally send you flying all over the arena and you will regret your decision. Sometimes if you're lucky though, it'll fling you so hard that you're out of the Reality Tear's range. Thankfully, the lunge attack in Phase 2 is much easier to parry. It's the same as the Phase 1 lunge, but with an additional slash. To successfully parry this, you have to run from the diagonal slash, and continue running when he dashes to you. If you don't continue running, he will hit you and you will fail the parry. After his dash swing, he will teleport to you again and do another swing. If you ran from the last swing, this one will be very easy to parry. Once again, remember to stay calm. I panicked when I was hit with this attack and jumped, which you should never do. If you jump, then it will be much easier for Nacker to predict your movement and combo you, killing you while you're unable to do anything really. There you go, Knacker isn't as hard as most people say he is, at least if you can adapt, stay calm, and understand his attacks. Enjoy your Omega Death Gear.